Can you play Hikaru while down a queen? He said he beat you with those odds. Well, I read this comment, and I took it personally. Hello humanity. How's it going? Last video that I played against Hikaru's bot, I used some deep bong cloud theory. My secret weapon against Alpha Zero and naturally, he had no chances against me. That's why today I'm going to play the obnoxious Botez Gambit. For those who aren't aware of the Botez Gambit, it is when you give up your queen. Correction, it is when you sacrifice your queen for a long, a really long term compensation lol. Many people consider this gambit as a joke, but I don't, and I will prove it to you, or not. I'm playing the white pieces and now, without further ado. Let's start the game with knight to f3. Not committing my central pawns, and trying to decide my pawn structure later. This way I can try to make a closer setup, avoiding any unwanted trades. Queen to d2 is obviously threatening the nasty, queen to h6. I can guarantee he won't see that move and will play bishop to g7, right? Right. Time to Botes Gambit. Queen to h6. Confusing the audience. The idea of this move is to trade this horrible queen, whose only purpose was blocking my bishop, for his strong dark square bishop that is controlling this strong diagonal ha ha ha. Of course he is gonna take my queen, otherwise, we are not playing chess, right? Right. Don't get deceived by my evaluation on this position. I know it's showing a minus 8, but it's because I don't reveal my real evaluation when I'm using my secret weapons. Knight to b4, threatening to win my c2 pawn. Let's play bishop to b5 check first, and then decide what I can do about that. You know what, I'm already down a queen for a bishop. I surely don't care about this pawn on c2. Let's just castle, if he takes the pawn, maybe I can trick him into getting his knight trapped. My pawn on a2 is hanging. But if he takes, I can take his pawn on c7, and his position starts to get dangerous. Long castle, defending his pawn on c7, what a coward. He could have taken the pawn on a2 even though it wasn't the best move. He doesn't know that trading pieces is good for him. But I'll insist, take the pawn on a2. He doesn't want it, whatever, I'll gambit my b2 pawn instead. If he takes, his knight is running out of squares. Queen to b5, black wants to put his queen on e2 and avoid rook to c5 with tempo, but that hangs his pawn on a7, I'll take it. If he takes my rook on a3 now, just knight to b5 check, c takes b5, but after rook takes queen and rook to a8, I got the queen back, but I can't win this position. Please don't go into this line, this is already attempt 1 billion 69, I will seriously quit this challenge. g5. Thank you, I solemnly swear. This is not a paid actor. I'll leave the link to the game on the description. Black decided to give up a pawn for no reason. Perhaps he is sad because he is struggling to win a game up a queen. Queen to 
queen takes a2 allows me to play rook to a3, attacking the queen, giving me a strong attack against his king. c4. I have at least a draw secured now. Thank you. Rook to g8. Question mark, question mark. Black is now completely lost. You are free to pause the video and try to find the only move that wins for white, while I give you no seconds to think about it. And it is of course, knight takes c4, and whatever black does, I will win at least his queen or otherwise, he gets checkmated. One possible continuation is. Queen to e6. Knight to d6 check, king to b8, knight to e4 check, king to b7, knight to c5 check, king to c6, rook to a6 check, king to d5, knight takes e6, and after rook to c8, bishop to c7, rook takes c7, knight to d5 is mate. But he plays b takes c4, which is one of the best moves. Thanks for your queen though. Although I'm down an exchange, I am up a pawn, his c pawn is about to fall, my pawn structure is great, and his h pawn will soon fall, therefore, this is a trivial win for me. The plan now is simple, I will bring my king up the board to support my h pawn and promote. Oops, I just blunder my rook. Of course not human, I never blunder, my two connectors are unstoppable. Quick tip from Stockfish. Whenever you blunder a piece, call it a sacrifice and make yourself believe you are a genius ha ha ha. Mission, accomplished. Congratulations, now you are a Botez Gambit expert. The good thing about this Gambit, is that if you lose, you can tell your opponent you were down a queen. And if you win, well. You won a game down a queen, there is nothing to say. If you want more challenges like this, put it in the comments and I will do it, or not. See you soon, or not.